Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to talk to you all today about something that's been coming up so much and was a really big question when I started to learn how to develop in JavaScript, which is what framework, what library should I learn first? And I wanna break down Vue, I wanna break down React, and I wanna break down Angular for you so you can have a better idea of what one is best suited to you when you are learning a framework or in React's case, a library. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see more of. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're already not subscribed. And uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see more of because I'm really enjoying making these videos for you guys and want to keep on making them. So keep the good information and feedback coming so I can keep on making them. As many of you may know, especially when you're entering in for the first time the JavaScript environment or learning how to code, JavaScript libraries and frameworks are moving at such a quick pace right now. They're constantly being a new one introduced or changed or updated, so it can be very overwhelming as to where to start. And it, what it means is you have to frequently um, learn different updated versions of Angular, React, or Vue, or the new hottest thing that's coming out, um, especially if your company is using that. But I think, in my opinion right now, the top three biggest frameworks, and in React's case, a library, that are on the market right now would be React, Vue, and Angular. And that's why I chose to break these three down for you. So let's start with React. React is an open source library that was developed on Facebook in 2013. It's great for building huge web applications where data needs to be exchanged on a consistent basis. So what are some of the benefits of React? Well, React is really easy to learn, or the basics of it, especially if you already have an HTML syntax background. Um, a lot of the JSX that is included in React is very sim similar to HTML, so if you already have some of that kind of background experience, you'll really pick it up quickly. And React has a high level of flexibility. You can reuse components in different projects or in different areas of one project, which makes it a really big benefit um, because it means saving time and less repetitive code. The virtual DOM that React offers is amazing. It makes everything really lightweight um, and very, React become very quick and fast. So I think having a virtual DOM, like the virtual DOM that React has, makes it a huge benefit to offer. Another benefit of React is it's open source, which is a huge benefit because it has so many contributors. So the documentation or articles on React, different uh, tutorials are always being updated and included. There's so many online, so many resources that learning React or learning what's coming down the pipeline with React is a really straightforward thing to do because there are just so many resources online. Some of the drawbacks that React has is it does take a long time to fully master React, especially when you're using the MVC framework. Um, when you're using different user interfaces to integrate into the back end of things, React can get a little complex, so it does take a little bit of time to fully pick it up, but other than that, I mean, React is really a great framework or a great library to learn, and it's so in demand right now. Some companies that are using React, just to name some of like the bigger companies that are using React right now would be Facebook, Instagram, New York Times, Yahoo, Khan Academy, WhatsApp, Dropbox, Airbnb, and there are so many more. I'm just literally listing off the tip of the iceberg. So I do think React is an incredible library to learn. And like I said, initially picking it up, especially if you have some HTML background, it will be pretty straightforward. The more deeper you get into it, obviously the more complex, but I do think it's probably, in my opinion, the number one library or framework to pick up. Next on the list is Vue.js. Vue.js has been really hot lately. It was just introduced um, a few years ago, so it's really picked up lately, and that's because it's really straightforward to learn, which makes it very accessible, and especially if you're a beginner, learning Vue.js is not as much of a steep learning curve. So Vue.js is a JavaScript framework that was developed for single page applications. Some of the benefits that I haven't already listed about Vue.js would be like React, it's very adaptable with HTML. So if you already know some HTML syntax, there's a lot, especially with the templates in Vue, that is around HTML. So you already kind of have a head start on learning how Vue works. As well, it's really detailed documentation. There's a lot of documentation and goes really in depth, which makes it very accessible um, to start learning with. You can just read the documentation, follow tutorials, and you should be really good to go. Another benefit of Vue is it can be large scaling. 
Vue can help develop some pretty large applications and reusable templates, which makes it really powerful. And even though it can be used to develop some really large applications, it is tiny in size, which makes it really speedy and fast, especially when you are developing large applications, which is another huge benefit of Vue. Um, some drawbacks to Vue, I would say, it still has a pretty small market share compared to React or Angular. And I mean, obviously part of that is because it is newer than both of those frameworks. And obviously that's because it's newer than both React and Angular. But I do think it's picking up a lot of traction and I do think it's a really great framework to spend some time learning, especially because it shouldn't take you too long to pick up, especially if you already know React or Angular or really any other framework, it won't take you that long to pick up or even if you know HTML for that matter. I think Vue is just a really good uh, learning framework. Like if you're learning and you want to know what framework to learn first, I think Vue is a really great one because of how straightforward it is and how detailed the documentation will go. Lastly, let's talk about Angular. Angular is a framework that I personally haven't used. I love React and I love Vue, but I, I talked to a lot of people who do use Angular before creating this video to get some really good information on their thoughts and feedback on it. Um, Angular's been around for quite a long time and it's really excellent for building like, highly interactive web applications. Some benefits of Angular, just like Vue, it does have really detailed documentation so you can go onto their website and really read through everything and have a strong understanding of how Angular works even before using it. Angular has two-way data binding which um, enables singular behavior for the app which really minimizes the risks. It also follows the MVVM uh, model, which stands for Model View View Model. And that's so great because it allows developers to work on different portions of the app on the same time using the same data. Some drawbacks of Angular, um, it does have a bit of migration issues when you, are, when you are moving from the older version to the new one, so that is something to keep in mind. And also to some companies that use Angular, I would say, um, just like once again, the tip of the iceberg, Udemy, YouTube, PayPal, Nike, Google, and so many more. I hope this gave you a clear understanding of a little bit about the pros and cons of the different frameworks and in React's case library. I know for me when I was first learning it, it was so difficult to navigate to which one to learn. And I think at the end of the day, just pick one, stick to it, and block out all the other noise. Because for me, when I was learning React for the first time, um, a long time ago when I was learning it for the first time, I remember being like, oh my gosh, should I learn you know, React or should I be learning Angular or there's so much around and every job wants something different. But at the end of the day, if you have really strong JavaScript skills and you apply them to one framework or one library, you can pick up another one quite easy and a company won't not hire you because you don't know a framework. It's more so, can you develop in JavaScript or can you develop in really well in even another framework? And then you can transfer those skills to the framework or library that they use. Thank you all for watching my video. Let me know down below what you want to see more of. I hope this video was really helpful to you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.